so let's go ahead and start today with talking about the how we got there, the, the story of what we got with the SAP data offloaded to Azure Synapse. So what we're looking at here is a real simple dashboard uh, that's explaining some of these KPIs, these metrics, these values that companies run their business by. So looking at things like total amount ordered, where we're selling uh, across the world, active customers, and a little bit of the high level details. Now we'll get more into this in just a few minutes, but this is the how we, you know, this is the, the output of all of this work is putting something tangible, analytical in front of the users to be able to run their business. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how we got there. So the first process is to go ahead and get the data out of SAP. And in this case, we're sourcing the data out of an SAP system and we're going to be using the SAP extractors. Now we're using the extractors because it adds in a lot of business value that has already been pre-calculated by these extractors in SAP. These are standard extractors that your ABAP people would be familiar with and don't worry about that term. I know it sounds scary, but the SAP people behind the scenes are very familiar with this plumbing technology. We're going to take advantage of it and get the information that we need for this orders to cash project to be able to drive the analytics that we just saw in the dashboard. So we picked out about 25 different tables here that we needed or 25 different extractors that we needed to be able to drive that information forward. Now, looking at this data in its raw form, it's five digit codes, it's German, it's very hard to understand. As like Matt mentioned a little bit earlier, that in of itself is valuable, but it really doesn't help the end user. So what do we do? This is where we get to the process of transforming the data and getting it ready for analytics with Synapse. So going from left to right, we're going to talk about the process of using Click Compose to model the data into consumable analytical data marts. On the left side, we start seeing where we started. This is their SAP output from the SAP transactional system. And now we're going to start the process of modeling the information. And if we kind of take a look at what where we're going to start with, what we see is again that output of information. If we take a look at something like customer attribute, what we're going to see is that we captured the technical name, that, that five digit short code German that some people are very familiar with, and we've taken it and augmented with business friendly terms. So we're actually going to see things like industry, or we're going to see things like customer class, things like that nature that now are easily and understandable. Not only have we gone and added information in one language for some of these descriptive information we've gone ahead and added four languages now this is just the start of the process of, of mapping that metadata in now comes the part of doing the hard work which is the actual modeling how does this information relate and this is really where the value comes out of the process the transformations of taking the data from raw to ready in analytics is where we're going in and, and assuming how we're going to fit this information together. And there's a lot of SAP experts on our team that have gone through and walked through this process flow of data and transformation to get it ready. So we can just kind of take a look at some of these things and how they flow through. Now, that's just a model. But what's interesting about this is at the end of the day, what we're adding the value here is that we have actually built 1800 commands, 1800 SQL syntax and functions to go ahead and automate the process of getting the data, transforming it, getting it ready for analytics. And the entire process is maintained by Click Compose. All of the surrogate keys, all of the slowly changing dimensions, all of this is managed by us. So you don't have to write custom script, custom SQL to manage this. In fact, that's the reason why we automate this process. So now that we've got our model, we've got our maps, we've got our transformations, we've got our data warehouse built, then we actually go to the process of delivering content for the end users. And this is where we can see the output. We have transactional data marts. These would look very similar to people who are familiar with SAP info cubes. And then we also have aggregated marts and the aggregated marts are to help users get access to their KPIs quickly. So for example, if we take a look at sales order metrics, we're going to see things like total net value of order items, total discount, total order quantity. These are the KPIs that we saw in the dashboard that users run their business by. And we've also mapped this into the conform dimensions of things like material and customer and sales order status and sold to organization 
as well as date to be able to understand how these things performed over time. So all of this knowledge together, all of this process, as well as those targeted Power BI dashboards are part of our orders to cash process and using the click data integration tools to get that data out of the source system, out of that raw SAP, transformed, and now landed to SNAPS for additional analytics.